Hello and welcome back to CryptoSnack. My name is Marion and I'm your host today and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, um, do consider subscribing if you haven't done so. And um, today we're going to talk about the um, enormous share of electric cars um, sold in Norway. We will look at to the massive, massive supercharger expansion and what that means for Tesla in future revenue. Furthermore, we will look into um, Israel. Um, we will have a look into the Chinese expansion. So guys, um, if you do enjoy all that, do consider subscribing to my channel, support me. And as always in the background, we see the um, Giga Texas Austin with massive construction going on. Um, I'm really excited what we see here, even though we always could get a bit faster as we um, would love to see um, as soon as possible cars coming out here in Giga Austin. Um, the first point I would like to add is when um, they started to construct at Giga Austin, Texas, we do see here um, when we look at this perspective, the right half of the entire section where the factory will be built um, is where the concentration of construction is right now. This is what I have been um, witnessing from the beginning. So we do see here the um, concrete um, going straight forward. Um, it seems like that the building that is um, started at the top, so in the north now, will come down here where the crane is and the right part um, will be in this style going forward to the north. So I think those two sections will um, kind of meet each other in the middle and this will be the area where I feel the first cars will be built in, um, which we could maybe see this year happening in the second half. So um, yeah, back to the um, current Tesla news guys. And um, yes, Norway has done it. Norway is the first country who has ever managed to um, have a market share of EVs, new cars sold. 53% um, of all new cars that were sold were electric or any alternative engine. So um, this is massive news and it shows where the trend is going. For these kind of things we do um, always see Scandinavian countries or smaller countries in general um, doing the lead because they have much less um, population. I want to remind and compare that to another thing. Sweden a few years ago was um, one of the first countries who reached over 50% of alternative energy um, from solar energy, wind energy, etc. At that point, it was, um, it was really exciting to see that. But countries like Germany and other countries, which are much bigger, um, have not even come close to that at that time. Um, but it was again the beginning of a progress um, that people, countries um, invested into alternative um, energy. Today, uh, Germany sometimes manages to um, make electricity from um, alternative energies um, by 50% market share. So we do see that those trends that we see here in Norway could apply as well for bigger countries like England, France, Italy, Spain, or Germany. So um, looking into Grünheide um, Giga Berlin, it is really exciting to see what kind of amazing, amazing demand Tesla could face in Europe. Um, so looking into the numbers in Germany, for example, the car, car company uh, hotspot here, um, we had 6% of all new cars were electric. So this is not sounding too much, but I want to remind you guys, this is a big jump. And um, so I'm really excited to see um, this number climb in the future. And um, yeah, let's see what's happening here. It's really exciting that the trend is your friend as always traders would say. And I think this is the same for this. I think there is a trend that won't be stopped. When we look into the supercharger expansion from T 
Tesla. Um, I would uh, say it is exactly happening what I predicted a few months ago when I was mentioning that the supercharger stations um, will be the keystone for the further success of Tesla. Now where Tesla has the money to um, invest massively into new superchargers, um, I think we will see more and more stations coming out, especially the density in the United States um, is already big and will get bigger where there's gonna be no question at all for a car um, uh, int uh, interest person to buy a car. Um, when they decide to buy an electric car, they have to buy a Tesla because they have then no anxiety of recharging. If I'm buying um, in another company EV car, um, I have to check if I'm able to recharge and where I can do that. So this is a unique selling point here. Again, Tesla is expanding and I have kind of the feeling that at the moment where the demand is so big, um, Tesla is go just going to satisfy its own customers, its own car owners, um, because that's the priority. But if we look five to 10 years in the future, I think there is a new business coming. I think gas stations will disappear. Those gas stations that don't have electric charging will disappear. And I think that something like the supercharger network of Tesla will be the new norm and I think Tesla will make tons of money with that in the future. Once its cars are getting even cheaper, I think they will charge for the um, electricity even more. And this is um, where I think a lot of money can come in for Tesla by controlling this entire supercharger network um, worldwide. And I think at one point um, Tesla will be able to open it to other car companies and this uh, is kind of like a conflict thing where a lot of people owning Tesla wouldn't like that. But I think with um, producing supercharger network in a production line in China now, I think it is just a question of time that Tesla will be able to um, um, yeah, make more superchargers, um, build new set supercharging stations, more than they need. I think it will take another three, four years till they are ahead of the game and they actually have more supercharger stations as the network actually needs. So um, yeah, but I think it will be a great opportunity for Tesla, another business opportunity to make great money in the future. So guys, um, if we look into um, Israel. Israel is a new market that Tesla has been adding. Um, yesterday it was announced. And if we combine this trend with massive supercharger expansion, and we do see that the market share of um, electric cars is just um, increasing um, like crazy. And I think the numbers for 2021 will be even bigger. Um, I think it's an exciting time. It's exciting start into 2021. We do see a factory in the background building up really fast and I'm actually just can't wait to see already new announcements of a new factory, even more capabilities of making cars. It will be exciting to see. And I think in the United States, um, the, um, the, uh, the way the uh, competition is acting um, they are trying to work together. This is always a sign that um, uh, nothing good is happening when two big companies um, in the United States have to work together to actually push for electric cars and to compete with Tesla. So um, again, guys, it's really exciting times. Um, and I think that we have a great year ahead. And I think that Tesla will be the leading EV mark, uh, maker in 2021 and the years to come. Just based on the numbers, I'm really excited to see that. So guys, 